Are you tired of assigning money to each category when you budget? Why not use the auto assign feature in YNAB? Hi and welcome back. I'm Kamika and this is Well Balanced Wallet where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today we're going to talk about the auto assign feature in YNAB. So if you've been around for a while, you know that I like to go through line by line on my budget and determine how much money to put in each category. Well, in the budget with me for October, I actually used the auto assign feature in YNAB and I kind of liked it, but I also don't know if I'm gonna use it very much, um, but we'll determine that later. So what is the auto assign feature? The auto assign feature in YNAB is a way to quickly budget your money, especially for people that use the same totals each month and people that just don't want to go through their budget line by line. So it's basically a shortcut to budget your money each month. Let's talk a little bit about how the auto assign feature works. YNAB has included several options for auto assign, but they all work in a similar way. The goal is to prioritize your expenses based on the due date or the target date that you've set. So a few of the options are underfunded, assigned last month, spent last month, average assigned, and average spent. And we're going to go through each of those in a sample budget. Let's get started. Okay, so this is my sample budget. And what I've done so far is set target goals for each of these categories. So if you take a look at the rent and mortgage category, the target is $500 by the end of the month. And it's really easy to set these targets. Uh, we'll just do this last one that I left blank. Um, you click on the category and then there's a section on the right for target. So you click this plus or the blue link and you determine the amount that you want to set as the target. So for this one, we're going to do a target amount of $300. And you have several options for your target amount and it tells you um, more information about each one. So if you want a video on targets, let me know and I'll make that one next. Um, but you have the option to do monthly, weekly, or you can um, select a specific date. And you can also tell YNAB if this expense repeats. Um, or if you need to save this money every month or whatever the case may be. So we're just gonna do monthly and you have the option to pick the day of the month. So if it's a bill and you know it comes out on the 21st, then it needs to be funded before the 21st. So let's just check 21st on this one. And then you do save target, okay? So it says that we've reached our target and that's just because we have more than uh, the $300 in this category. So what we're gonna do now is look at some of these auto assign features. We're going to move into November so we can have a fresh budget. And these are the options that I mentioned before. Let me uncheck this one so that you can see the whole thing. Okay, okay, first up is underfunded. This option is going to budget your money based on how much money you have left to reach your target and the date that you need to reach your target by. And it's just gonna go line by line, but the priority is filling up those categories that are due first and then moving on to the categories that are due at a later date. So if we were to click underfunded here, it says this, uh, this could update the assigned amount to up to 13 categories, that's fine. So we do that and it budgets all of our money. So each category is filled based on the target. If we click rent and mortgage, we see that the target is $500. So that's what auto assign budgeted for us. For electric, we see that it is $200 and that's what is put here um, and so on and so forth. So that is how the underfunded amount works if you have exactly that amount of money. Let's click undo and then I'll go in and change this amount so that we don't have enough money. Let's do 2,500 and go back to our November budget. Okay, so we have 2,500 here and we're going to do the same underfunded auto assign, okay? So the amounts that are underfunded are $3,500, but we only have 2,500, so let's see what happens. You don't have enough money to fully fund your 13 categories, so they'll be funded in this order. Overspent categories from top to bottom, so if you have any overspending, it's gonna cover that first so that you can trust your budget. 
And then it's gonna move on to categories with goals or scheduled transactions based on the earliest due date in each category. So if you notice on the um, targets, I have the 30th for all of the categories except for one, and that one is on the 21st. So this means that the, the one that is due on the 21st is gonna be funded first, and then it'll move on to any of the other categories. So let's try that. Apply partial funding. Okay, so it funded the bill that's due on the 21st, and then it started back at the top and funded as far as it could go, all right? So let's try one of the other auto-assign auto options. We're gonna do undo. And I'm gonna go back and change this to 3,500 so we have exactly enough money. And we'll look at some of the other options. Okay, so next up is assigned last month. Last month was right here in October. And these are the amounts that we assigned. So let's go back to November, click auto assign. We're gonna do assigned last month. It's gonna affect 12 categories. All right, and it assigned this money. All right, so did we assign anything? Nope, we didn't assign anything to the internet um, for October, so that's why it's empty, okay? So that's how assigned last month works when you have exactly enough money. Now let's go back and try it again with not enough money. We'll do 2,500, okay, auto assign assigned last month okay so this option does not take into account whether you have enough money or not it went ahead and assigned the full three thousand five hundred dollars that we assigned last month but it didn't take into consideration that we only had two thousand five hundred dollars available so if you want to use the assigned last month option when you don't have enough money to fully fund everything this is what you're gonna do. So we're gonna click undo. All right, we know that we have $2,500. So we have this bill due on the 21st. We're gonna click this box and we want to pay the rent. We want to pay the electric. We wanna pay water. We wanna pay auto maintenance and we want to pay internet, okay? So we've, we've selected the ones that we know for sure we want to pay. We can click auto assign and click assigned last month. And it assigns the exact amounts that you uh, assigned last month only to those categories that were checked. Now you can uncheck everything and go through and continue to fill in your categories with the money that's remaining. Or you can do another round. So you can click on medical, groceries, fun money, and then auto assign and assigned last month. Oh, we have $60 too much, so let's go back. We'll click undo. Um, let's take out this fund money. Assigned last month, and then we still have $140 to put somewhere. So that is how assigned last month works. Let's move on to the next option. Okay, we're back at 3,500. The next option is spent last month. And I don't have a good representation of this one because uh, this is a sample budget where nothing was spent last month. But if you had categories where you spent money last month, what this option would do is assign money to each category based on the amount that you spent in each category last month. Now, this option won't take into consideration the amount of money that you have in the ready to assign either because it's just going based on the amount of money that you spent last month so if you overspent in any categories then it's going to adjust what your target balance is to what you spent last month so just be careful about that one and make sure you just select um the categories if you know that you went over in a few just select the, the ones that you want to use this for and then click spent last month so the next option is average assigned 
and this is going to go based on the average amount that you assign to each category so if you have an electric bill and sometimes it's hundred and eighty dollars a month and sometimes it's two hundred and twenty dollars a month then it's going to give you the average of those amounts to fund your categories so right now since um, we haven't spent from this budget the average amount assigned is going to be the actual amount that we've assigned and this doesn't go based on the target amount because if you see here we put $250 in for the renter's insurance in October but the target balance is 300 so if we come back to our November budget it budgeted that $250 instead of the target balance so if you want to go buy your target balances the option that you should use is underfunded okay and we'll undo and we'll see what happens with this option when we have less money than we need okay and we'll do average assign and it does not take into account how much money you actually have available to assign so this is another one of those options where you need to click each one that you that you are sure that you want to fund and then use the auto assign feature okay let's undo and let's go back to 3500 and the last option that uh, I mentioned earlier is average spent and again we won't be able to demo this one because we haven't spent any money but it has the same concept as the average assigned so it's gonna it's gonna assign an average amount of what you spend for each category and it's also not going to take into consideration the amount that you have ready to assign so this is also one that you need to check the categories that you want to fund for sure and then you can see how much is left and budget the rest of that money okay so we're back to the three thousand five hundred dollars that we had and there are two more options down here that we haven't talked about so you have the reset available amounts and what this is going to do is it's going to zero out all of your categories that still have money in them and add that money to your ready to assign at the top so let's click here update assigned amounts and it zeroed out everything here that we had budgeted in october it added it to our ready to assign here okay so at this point you can uh, use any of the auto assign features to assign this money again or if you want to if you just wanted a fresh start you can budget this money however you would like okay and then the last option is to reset assigned amounts and so this is going to let's go ahead and assign these amounts we'll do underfunded okay and let's take some out of this one so we'll have still an option to assign and so now if we click here and we do reset assigned amounts it's going to reset each category's assigned amount to zero so we click reset and it brings that three thousand five hundred dollars back up to the top and that is all of the auto assign options so this has been a quick little crash course on auto assign functions in YNAB and I think they are very helpful but it just depends on how you like to budget if you're gonna use them. So if you are like me and you like to go line by line and think about everything and talk about everything, then you may just want to stick with the traditional way of budgeting by manually assigning each category. But if you want to come in here and get your budget done in three minutes, then any of the auto assign functions should work for you and your budget. I know this was a lot of information, so if you're still here at the end, be sure to drop this emoji in the comments and let me know if you have used the auto assign feature in YNAB or if you plan to after watching this video. That's all for today, so be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Web Balance Wallet content. See you there.